everyone. I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm going to be making two soaps today. They are both with the same fragrance. And this is the fragrance. It's hot cocoa from Candor Soap Supplies. And it seriously smells just like cocoa. It smells so good, like hot chocolate. I'm using um, a soap fail. That's why I'm making two soaps. I'm making one soap that's going to be just brown with white pipe topping and strawberries. So I'm gonna have these strawberries I've made with melt and pour. I put a little bit green on the leaves and then I'm gonna drizzle these with white and red so it looks like icing or cherry topping, cherry syrup or, you know, some sort of a confection bakery look to it. Now I'm going to use a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I have one too many strawberry. I like to always have at least one more in case I drop it and ruin it in the batter. And this is a soap fail. So I'm going to reuse this soap fail. What is wrong with it is this here, peachy color, was meant to be the same color as this pink embed. This was a Valentine's soap, which I obviously didn't use. It's February 22nd, because it to me, it was just a total failure. And although it smells wonderful, it's a really good soap. Erin and I have used it. It's a wonderful soap. So I think it's so sad for it to go to waste. So I'm using it tonight. I am cutting up part of it. I already have cut it up. And so I'm making one loaf. And these are going in. I think they're going to look pretty cool. They always look like some sort of a hint of marshmallow in the cocoa. The topping on this is just going to be white piping, no strawberries. I'm not going to risk color clashes again. This is just the peachy color and the white and the chocolate. And then I'm also using it, I'm not sure yet, but I think I've just been taking the peeler here. And I think I'm going to make some chocolate... Um, rolls or pieces that might go in the top of the other loaf with the strawberries. I'm not entirely sure, so I'm going to just make some, put them aside and decide when the soap is finished if I like that idea. So that's what we're doing tonight. It's going to be loads of fun. So I'm glad you're joining me on the adventure. I still have to measure out my oils. My lye water is mixed and it's just cooling. That's what I usually do. I mix the lye water and I set it aside to cool. Now I'm going to measure my oils and then I will come back to video the rest. All right, see you later. Okay, I'm back. I am going to first do one of these. I've got these two four pound batches ready to go. This one I'm going to do first and it's just the plain uh, cocoa fragrance, which is going to turn a dark brown. That's just part of the property of the fragrance oil. I'm going to add my lye water here. All right, and stick blend it up. which is now setting up nicely in its mold. This is the second batch. I'm going to use my failed soap, try to save it. Now this is being set aside for the topping for both soaps. And I am not going to color it or fragrance it. It's just uh, for piping. Oh, maybe I was right the first time. This is for both loaves, so bit over two cups. And I don't think I need that much. Hmm. I set a little bit more aside. Because I have those blocks from the other soap, so I don't need that much batter. If I do, then I'll use it. Okay, now I have in here the leftover of the fragrance oil.
And now the fun part. There's no titanium dioxide today. Just plain batter topping. I'm not a big fan of using the colorants. Like this one's gonna go brown on its own. I like that idea very much. Okay. I am just going to bang this on the counter to get the, the uh, any possible bubbles out. Okay, pardon me. Hope that wasn't too loud. This smells so good. It smells amazing. Now, here I have these pieces from the failed soap that I am just going to lay in and keep pouring batter and keep putting these in until I've used them all up. The batter smells amazing. These pieces smell amazing. I love chocolate, so I'm not at all surprised that I'm loving chocolate soap. Now I'm putting these in, as you can see, I'm glad I got a pretty good camera angle there, on all different angles, you know, some are straight, some are diagonal, so when, you, when it gets cut, it should have an interesting look. We're going to have pure dark brown batter and then these cubes. What I'm hoping for is sort of a marshmallow. Like these look like marshmallows. They remind you of marshmallows. I mean, things don't have to look exactly like something to just give you the mental image or memory of that thing. Okay, pounded her down again. Put in a few more cubes. Okay, the cats are finally being quiet. Everyone else in the house is quiet. My husband's actually at work and our roommate is downstairs watching a movie or something. So there we go, I still have tons of these cubes left. I think they will just be used in soaps for us here in our home. Aaron and I have enough soap to last us about a decade. Okay. Oh, there's a cat. Okay, I'll get this. The last of the batter here. Gonna pour it on top. Oh, I made a good guess here, didn't I? Now it's going to take about 40 minutes for this stuff that I've set aside over here to be ready for the piping. So I will pause the video and be back when I get into when I get into piping the top and putting in those cool strawberries. That'll be exciting. So see you then. there with my computer turned off on me so you missed me putting in the strawberries or you say I've placed them and I will probably end up cutting some um, doesn't bother me at all just adding a touch of glitter and then I have my white melt and pour ready and I am also going to put glitter in this We'll see how we do with making this look like a drizzle of icing.
Oh, very nice. It does look like icing. I think it needs more glitter. And then I'm going to make a pink. Exact same thing with pink. And then I'm done until we unmold and cut it. This is the one that is just plain brown underneath. So it's two very, they're both chocolate, just different styles. So this definitely has, perhaps it could be white chocolate. That's why you're seeing white. I didn't make brown. I thought about making brown. And I didn't because I could just envision my brown being very ugly. It's just, I could see me trying it. It would just look like a bunch of mud. So the brown of the chocolate soap is beautiful because I've already made that fragrance and saw what it looks like. So I know it's going to be very nice brown. I have the pink melt and pour here ready. It's not quite cool enough yet. You can just see how liquid it is. I want it to be cool enough that it's basically solidifying, you know, right when I pour it out. So I'm going to leave that for a minute there. And remember, I made the shredded chocolate pieces. I am not going to use them. I think that this is so fresh and pretty. I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to put anything more in here. And what I think I will do, because I also had a lot of those squares left, I'm going to make a confetti soap just for me and Erin to use at home um, out of these scraps. So I'm going to put those aside. And this is now ready. I can see it's setting up. So I'm going to put this on the exact same way I did the white. Just a very quick and easy drizzle. Oh, it's so nice. It's so delicate. Very pretty. This is exactly what I wanted. So it looks like icing on top of a whipped cream, perhaps. This is going to be very luxurious. A real treat. It is subtle. The pink is, is subtle. But we'll see what it looks like when it's all done and we go to cut it. All right, well, we'll see you at the cutting.